kwa maoni yangu na nilichokifurahia zaidi hapa mkutano unajadili kwa mapana sana wito wa mheshimiwa wa rais dr Samia Sulu Hassan ya kwa kwamba viongozi wa dini na dini zote zijadili kwa kina juu ya mmomonyoko wa maadili ya kwa kwamba si jambo la serikali pekee ni jambo la jamii nzima na liongozwe kwa pamoja na viongozi wa dini nasi wa serikali nimefurahi sana nilipoona kwa mheshimiwa naibu waziri mkuu dr Doto Mashakabiteko aliponipa fursa hii ya kuja na hakika taasisi ya Ahmadia imejipanga vyema nimeona kwa macho yangu mimi mwenyewe watu wanajadili kwa utulivu wamekaa wakiwa na nafasi ya kutosha ya kujadili juu ya mmomonyoko wa maadili uliopo katika taifa unaoendelea duniani na hatua gani za kufanya ili kusudi kupambana na tatizo hili na hakika kuna njia nyingine ya kwanza ni watu kurejea katika mafundisho ya dini zetu kwa kuwa mafundisho ya dini ya wazi juu ya sala la namna mwanadamu anatakiwa aishi kwa namna gani. Kwa hivyo alhamdulillah nimefurahi sana nilichokiona hapa. Umezungumzia swala la mmomonyoko wa maadili. Unadhani sababu zipo? Kimsingi ndiyo maana serikali pamoja na mbinu zingine imeona kwa mbinu ya kujikita kwenye upande wa kutaka mashirikiano zaidi na taasisi za dini. Kwa kuwa sheria zipo ambazo tumezitunga sisi wenyewe na wakati mwingine wasimamizi wa sheria wapo lakini mmomonyoko unaendelea nini ya kufanya kumbe ni watu kurejea katika mafunzo mafundisho ili hiyo hali isiendelee na kwa hivyo sababu ni watu kutoka katika njia za mila na desturi zetu kwa dini ni mila na desturi zilizo njema. Na sisi wenyewe tuna mila na desturi zilizo njema. Kutumia viboko peke yake, kutumia sheria za kibinadamu peke yake sawa zina mchango mkubwa wa kutufikisha katika eh hatua nzuri. Lakini lazima tukubaliane kwa hiyo inakwenda kuwa ni tiba lakini kumbe tunayo njia ya kuzuia toka mwanzo na njia ya kuzuia toka mwanzo sio nyingine ni kururi, kurudi katika mila na desturi zetu na mila na desturi zetu ni pamoja na dini zetu ambazo zinafunza watoto wangali wadogo wajue kwamba kumchukia mtu ni haramu kwa maana ya kwamba mwanadamu ameumbwa ampende mwanadamu mwenziwe apende na viumbe wengine na ndio maana hata mtume wetu Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sisi tunaambiwa kwamba yeye rahmatan lil alamin amekuja ikiwa kwamba ni rehma kwa viumbe wote haikutenganishwa kusemwa kwamba baba ni wadini hii wadini ile kabila hili kabila lile kiumbe huyu kiumbe yule la imesema wazi rahmatan lil alamin yeye ameletwa ulimwenguni kwa ni rehma kwa viumbe wote na akapewa sifa kubwa sana eh unaona eh arraufu rahim eh kwamba ni mpole na na na, na mwenye rehma ndio bwana eh? kama sijakosea. Kwa hivyo ukiona hizi sifa zote ndio mambo ambayo kwamba hapa yanajadiliwa. Upole. Mapenzi, upendo kwa watu 
ndio mila nzuri na ndio desturi kupendana sasa inapokosekana hiyo ndio yanakuja mambo mengine kadha wa kadha mmonyo kwa maadili watu utasikia mtu kamchinja mwenzake inawezekanaje wewe umchinje mwezio chuki hisia hasi zisizokuwa na maana yote ile kibaka kwa hiyo mtu akiwa mwizi maana yake alikuwa anaathiri jamii kubwa sana sio yule anayemwibia tu yule anayemwibia alikuwa na watu wanaomtarajia wanaomtegemea yote amerudisha nyuma hiyo jamii yote hiyo kwa hivyo haya ni katika yale mambo ambayo yanajadiliwa hapa kwa mapana na yanayoonekana kwa msingi ujengwe toka huku chini katika jamii kwa maana watoto wadogo wale ambao wapo katika makuzi is a lot to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community to start with this convention was initiated by the holy founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community himself therefore the principles the reasons for which he initiated this Jalsa Salana are the very principles that guide and guard everything that has to do with this Jalsa Salanas out of this Jalsa Salanas because of it and through it members of the Ahmadiyya community you can see from all parts of Tanzania from the corners of Tanzania far off distances they've all converged here not all Ahmadi Muslims in Tanzania but each community tries to send at least a representative or representatives they converge here and this should tell you that some Ahmadi Muslims are meeting some other brethren Ahmadi Muslims for the first time since they became Ahmadis but this is a golden opportunity for them to meet to interact people of one and the same faith this is an opportunity for all Ahmadis in Tanzania to meet their Amir and missionary in charge and uh, the top hierarchy of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in Tanzania the national executive council of Tanzania and uh, a good opportunity for them to interact with them in each and every manner also this gives the opportunity for people who have accepted Ahmadiyyat in the course of the year between the last convention and this convention it gives them the opportunity to come to witness to know that it is not just they singularly in their corner where they are who have become Ahmadi Muslims but they come to find a good large group of Ahmadi Muslims from all parts of the country and indeed this rejuvenates the faith in him that apart materially it has its benefits in the sense that as Ahmadi Muslims come from different parts of Tanzania and they have met here they are made up of different profession, profession, professions, different traits, you know, and so on and so forth. Yes, the opportunity is there for a businessman coming from one city to have met a businessman here coming from a different other city. The possibility is for a businessman of one trade meeting another businessman of a different trade profession here. Then they discuss, they exchange views and obviously it promotes business which means that apart from the material benefits they get from it because when they come here they listen to the speeches from the imams the shiuch you know the, the, the religious leadership of the community talking on different uh, 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 topics admonishing them on different issues concerning their moral as well as their spiritual life and by the time they go home they are poised and sufficiently prepared for the years ahead of them, for the months ahead of them, in the like in that same manner, as they benefit spiritually and morally, there are also material benefits in it. And the material benefits is not disallowed in Islam. The Holy Quran teaches us, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi akhirati hasana, that, O oh, Almighty Allah, give us the best of this world. That is the material best of this world. Allah give it to us. And also, on the day of judgment, the spiritual benefit of it, you also give it to us. That is what Allah Ta'ala has taught us to pray. So, it's good to go for the material means, because the material means are there for you to use to enhance your own position, to make it possible for you to worship your Creator, and for you to appreciate 
what your creator Allah has done for you. Barakatuh. Awali ya yote tunamshukuru sana Mwenyezi Mungu Subhanahu wa Ta'ala kwa kuweza kujali kukutana hapa kwa ajili ya mkutano huu na kama unavyouliza mwandishi wa habari mkutano ulianza jana tarehe 29 Juzi ya 26 jana 30 na leo tarehe 1 ya Oktoba. Kwa hakika mkutano umeenda vizuri sana. Umeenda vizuri sana. Hakuna changamoto zozote. Nafikiri yale ambayo tulikuwa tumetarajia na tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu anapenda vizuri. Katika upande wa mahudhurio, upande wa mada ambazo zimetolewa upande wa wageni walikwa, kwa hakika tunaendelea vizuri sana. Ha. Labda idadi ya watu ambao wamehudhuria ni wale wale ambao mlitegemea au imepungua au imeongezeka kidogo. Idadi ya watu imeongezeka. Tulitarajia takriban watu 1500 lakini mwaka jana tulikuwa na idadi ndogo kidogo ya watu takriban 3400 lakini mpaka leo tumesha kuwa na idadi ya watu 1400 na 1000 plus. Kwa hiyo tuna tuna, tuna, tuna idadi kubwa kidogo ya watu. Na tunatarajia inshallah kuenda mpaka jioni tukafikia malengo yale tulio kwa tunakusudia. Juzi kulikuwa kuna kiongozi wa serikali kwa juu naibu na ni waziri. Yeah. Leo pia waziri ya mifika. Yeah. Hii na maana gani usiano kati wa Ahmadiyya na serikali? Usiano wa Ahmadiyya na serikali ni katika kujenga mshikamano katika nyanja mbalimbali. Ukizingatia kwamba wa Ahmadiyya ni raia wa nchi ya Tanzania. Kwa hiyo serikali ni viongozi ambao wanatuongoza sisi kama wanajamati. Kwa hiyo jumuiya kujenga mahusiano na serikali ni jambo la msingi kabisa kwa sababu serikali na inawaangalia ina, ina wananchi wake na wananchi wanawaangalia viongozi wake. Kwa hiyo tunapowakaribisha tunatarajia kutengeneza utangamano mzuri baina ya jumuiya na serikali. Kama ambavyo mmesikia hapo ya kwamba kiangalia hivi sasa mamonyoko wa maadili na mambo kadhaa kadhaa Kwa hiyo tunapokuwa tunawalika viongozi wa serikali tunategemea tupate miongozo yao. Na pia wao watusikie sisi tunaeleza nini kuhusiana na masuala ya kijamii. Kwa hiyo kualika viongozi kunatusaidia kuweza ku wa, kuelekeza wa, wanajamati wetu kupitia viongozi wa serikali. Kukamilika kwa mkutano wa mwaka huu wa sasa Na labda japo ni mapema nini watu watarajie kuelekea kutoka mkutano wa mwaka ni? Ah nafikiri watarajie mambo makubwa zaidi. Tunapoesha mkutano mmoja tunaangalia mafanikio na mapungufu. Tunajipanga kwa ajili ya mafanikio makubwa zaidi kwa ajili ya mwaka ni inshallah. Kwa hiyo watu wajiandae kwa ajili ya mwaka kesho inshallah kama hakutokuwa na tatizo lolote katika nchi yetu, katika jumuiya yetu, tunataraji tutafanya mkutano uliokuwa mkubwa zaidi ya huu. Okay. Uwepo wa vijana ambao umeonekana wengi wana maadili katika hii sehemu. Ah hii inamaanisha kuiambia jamii inayotuzunguruka kwamba katika jumuiya yetu tunajaribu kuandaa kwa si vijana tunaanza kuandaa watu kuanzia utoto wao e, ujana na hata watu wazima katika jumuiya yetu tunajumuia zinaitwa makundirika e, katika wa, 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 watoto wa miaka saba mpaka 15 tunaita atfalu ahmadia tunawatengenezea malezi ili wawe vijana bora na wapo vijana kuanzia mwaka 15 mpaka 40 na wapo watu wazima kuanzia 40 na kuendelea. Hii kama jamii nyingine itaweza kuiga muundo huu wa Jumuiya ya Uislamu Ahmadiyya, yawezekana wakawa na jamii bora zaidi katika nchi ya Tanzania. Kwa sababu tunawalea kuanzia wanapokuwa wadogo mpaka mtu anapokuwa mtu mzima. Kukumbusha wajibu wake nini katika maisha ya kidini na maisha ya kijamii. Asante sana. Shukran.